bathroom. I have it going. I have a whole elaborate scheme at work going on right now. They think I have IBS. I don't. I BS a lot though. It's how I got through college. <laughs> I um, I did actually. I got a. I got um to go to college. I was really lucky. I went to Sac State. Um, it's where I got my my BA. Anyone else BA? Yeah, BS. Yeah. BS. Okay. Bad alcoholism. I feel like I should have gotten BS though. <laughs> I did so much of that to get the, the bad alcoholism. Um. I'm regretting my college decisions though, because I saw an article titled Dunkin' Donuts, top five flavors is recommended by experts. I want to know who are these experts? What did they major in? Because I spent 40 grand and I am not expertly recommending donuts. I mean, I'm sitting in a cubicle, basically expertly recommending donuts anytime someone brings them in, but like, I'm not getting paid for that. I, uh, I'll admit, I'm a lot of holics, but I'm not a workaholic. Like, I, I like to slack off more than jack off, definitely. <laughs> um, I have never loved a job enough to want to do it for free. That's why I wish I majored in the donuts. I am a, I am a what they call a wage whore, not a work wife. <laughs> I am not married to that job. Um, but it's kind of a punk rock job. I'm a, I'm a secretary. So I see my day shred it. Social security numbers and sensitive information so that people don't find it. And uh, I think it's a pretty good job compared to other things I could do. Like be the bathroom attendant at Chipotle. <laughs> so yeah, some of the scariest things I've ever seen. I have seen some so big, I'm like, that butt had to stretch the size of a progresso can to get that out. I'm not surprised it's not flush. It probably can't be flush. I would be afraid to flush it. I'm afraid of everything though. <laughs> I, I have millennial anxiety. Like, I am so afraid of everything. The last time a guy went down on me, I asked him if I tasted like chicken. <laughs> Bad news, I don't. <laughs> I, I watch this thing called HGTV. 
<laughs> it is never not on. Um, I cook, and then I eat what I cook. Uh, I like really unsexy food. Top ramen, American cheese on top is one of my fave of those things. That's how my family spices up food. We're white trash. We like American cheese and we like Fritos on our stuff. That's a good meal. So I have a solution. You keep back pocket dudes. Because we all have our, like, our pretty time. So we have our back pocket dudes. Because then when a really cute and charming guy slips and slides into the DMs, really like classy, unsolicited dick pic, I got a nice back pocket dude to send back. At least I did. But then I messed up. And I got some new tattoos. So all my needs are outdated and people would know. I'm gonna retake them. I'm just having a really hard time finding the right time to do it. Because it is so much easier to be noodle ready than nude ready. <laughs> you can laugh or not. When you go home tonight, go to, if you own a pantry, go to the pantry, dig in the back, go find a top ramen packet. You never need to buy top ramen. They come with pantries, they just appear. Whip it up, whip up that top ramen. Instant, you will have a meal in, like, instant. I am not instant. My showers caused the California drought. <laughs> it's too to come. Oh, let's see, okay. Other things. All right. All right, we're talking about my dating life. On all comics, it doesn't go well. Um, but I have, I have narrowed down what I need in a relationship, and I feel pretty good about this. Um, so three years single, three years single, and I know now what I want to need is just like a friend with benefits, like a Netflix and chill buddy that can afford the streaming services I can't afford. So there's three right now. It's Stars, it's Paramount Plus, and Crunchyroll. So I'm, I'm looking for them. It might not be anyone here. Tell your friends. Tell like your nephew. This someone has someone. I'm working on making friends too. I don't have friends that can hook me up. I have been writing my phone number on all my tampon wrappers because I think I can meet a cool chick in the bathroom. It wouldn't work. Like when I do, I'm going to be like, hey girl, I got you on the tampon. We could be friends. Periods are missing. I'm a good friend. I'm super, super supportive friend. Um, I will always hold your beer. I drink every day. Pro, I'm holding beer. I'll even hold your water if you want to do, like, if you want to do something responsible, like your taxes or take out the trash, I'll hold your water. I'm better at holding beer. <laughs> I've had friends. Um, so think about it. Like, friends that you've had the longest. Shout out. Like, longest friend. How many years? Oh, my God. years. 28 years, 60, 60 is good. 60, 60. See, that's beautiful. I love human relationships like this, where I get to watch them grow up. Like, as a friend. So it's like, I'm not, they're not my brother or sister. It's like a whole, almost, I'm not as responsible. I just get to sit back and enjoy watching them grow up. But it's, it's also hard. Because <laughs> like, I have my old party friends, and they have all grown up and started families now. I'm like the last one, like the late bloomer in it. And it's been weird watching my old party friends grow up because they don't party now, but they do entertain. And it's a different level. But it's like, so I have a friend, Brittany. Brittany, she was a pirate. She could drink an entire jug of Carlo Rossi. And one time she threw up an entire jug of Carlo Rossi in this guy, Brian, his mom's bed. But now Brittany makes appetizers so good, like charcuterie boards. She is putting in the horrid hors d'oeuvres, not in Brian's mom's bed. Brian, still in contact with him. Once I saw Brian set the tip of his dick on fire, trying to set up a pickle of peat with his fart. <laughs> the best part, it was like, it wasn't even 4th of July. It was like September. <laughs> Now he wants me to RSVP. I'm like, Piccolo P. Dick, I don't know my mental state on like July 18th, February 27th, whatever it is. And I know it's gonna be a potluck. I hate potlucks. Um, that's the other entertaining thing. So they entertain, they make an appetizer, they want me to bring the food. No, you don't. I am. Exactly. And you know what? It's gonna be like a crime scene. My hair, my slime, and my blood is in that ramen. <laughs> It's cheap hotel room ramen. I like, if potlucks, there's never pot, and I never get lucky. 
around here. Has anyone ever gone looking at a potluck? Very misleading. <laughs> um, that's why I just always, always an excuse. I'm like, I have IBS. I can't come with a potluck, guys. <laughs> I would rather just eat snacks. Snacks are my favorite food. I don't like being a girl, though, because I feel pressured into weird snacks that are overpriced. So, like, I don't get to have, like, chips or something without guilt. I have to go get, like, dried mango curds and then pay, like, $28 at Whole Foods for it. No, that is very sad. Like, nothing ruins a snack like healthy, okay? Grocery Outlet can be your friend. Oh, I do love Grocery Outlet. <laughs> Actually, I, Grocery Outlet gets me lucky. Talk about a con log. Yeah, Grocery Outlet, I'm really lucky tonight because of Grocery Outlet. <laughs> I, I bought cereal. I bought a box of cereal and on the front it says, price inside. <laughs> I'm hoping it's plastic. Not a paper surprise. Ooh, huh, I take that though too. Um, actually, this is sad. This is a dark thing. My Nana passed away. Lovely woman though. Um, she was a, a tiny lady. After she passed away, I actually um, got inherited some of her coats. And I will say that um, Kleenexes and $20 bills, this woman is very, yeah, shout out to her. I am like, great coats and I made like 40 off of them. She is like smiling down at me. Talk about an angel. That's okay. Oh yeah, let's see. All right, what was I talking about? I'm going to go back. Uh, more for dating, well, I know I'm not on apps, so it's like I'm basically not dating. I um, I want to get on apps, but I watch a lot of true crime, and um, and it kind of like bleeds over weird into meeting strange men from the internet. And I am not gonna vibe if I am like feeling more Dateline than date. Or like, I love I love Dateline. If I hear something in my head like this evening on Dateline NBC. Lonely Sacramento woman goes missing. After an evening of thinking she's funny in a bar. <laughs> Not Keith Morrison. I don't want Keith Morrison narrating my death on cable TV. Not yet. Maybe someday. But I want to get more tattoos. Um, I want to get really dumb tattoos. Because if I go missing, my mom is going to have to tearfully describe those to the investigators. So I'm like, we're rolling with some ideas. Get this. Tramp stamp, chicken leg, phrase. Come get it while it's hot. But like it fucking last. I just get worried because all the serial killers are smart. They read Latin. Someone would be like, chicken's good cold too. I would get poultry diced good. So I have another one. Inner thigh cat of a nut sack. Highly detailed. <laughs> because heaven for me would be watching my mom tearfully describe her beloved daughter's highly detailed inner thigh nut sack tattoo to an investigator who's like all dressed up in a suit. <laughs> oh man. So I think I'm funny. I'm not, I'm not trying to be like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole just up here boring everyone. I think I'm funny but I don't trust my opinion. So I want other people to think I'm funny, they do. And when people laugh at me, it does turn me off for the dirty talk, and I am like, I am so wet right now. Thank you guys. Uh, I like, don't even want this to end. I'm so sad. <laughs> There's no way I can be any happier because I don't have the arm strength to jack anyone off from it. I was tired. Um, but the night is gonna get happier because we have some amazing comments coming back up. I'm starting with our host. Thank you, Pete, for putting this all together. And thank 